about right off the GF factory line, and then they stuck a radiation machine to the top of it. So there's the radiation machine right here, the whole box, which is amazing in itself because our radiation machine, five feet over, would take out half this room. And um, they stuck it right on this giant robot, and since it's a robot, it only knows how to move in one particular motion. Like most robots in factories know, okay, I'm going to take the bolt, I'm going to pull it out, and then I'm going to twist it in. This machine, we have five to seven, um, like, predestined paths, we call them. And what that means is the machine comes out and it stops at all these different places. Or it might be on 130 stops, just depending on how large the tumor is, where it is. Um, we have some patients that we have to be so particular that we came in from 300 different spots. So it was like, come in for two seconds and it came here for a second. And just to give you an idea, um, we would normally deliver maybe 700 centigrade a day. Some of these stops have 0.1 centigrade. So it's not even a hundredth of the total plan. And it just that little bit of dose, all of those little but this is sitting up and not taking your head on to taste it around the room. Uh -huh. And um, we have little monitors that we put in. And um, I'll show you guys, because I broke one the other day. So. <laughs> I'll have to take that out of my next 100 paychecks. <laughs> so we uh, think the pressure is really low one day. Like whenever we have those storms, yeah. I have to change the output of the machine every time we have a storm because um, we, we always know they're coming too. Because I'll look in the room and we'll have like a 50% humidity and my barometric pressure is dropped to 736. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm not going to the park today because it's going to rain. And sure enough, our output is um, dramatically changed due to that, and it's bringing some answers. So <laughs> I get to do my QA and my weather report.